The Easy Walk Harness is designed to gently discourage your dog from pulling while walking on a leash. There is very little acclimation time or special techniques required. Traditional harnesses actually encourage dogs to pull harder because of the opposition reflex. That's the reflex that causes sled dogs to pull against pressure. The Easy Walk Harness's unique front chest leash attachment stops pulling by steering your dog to the side and redirecting his attention towards you. To determine the correct size for your dog, you will need to take a girth measurement. Measure all the way around the dog just behind the front legs. Use this measurement to determine your dog's size. Remove the harness from the package. Ensure the straps are fully extended to their longest length. Identify the straps of the harness. The Easy Walk Harness has three straps. The top strap, shoulder strap, fits across the dog's shoulders and back. The belly strap, bottom, fits beneath the dog, just behind the front legs and is a contrasting color. The chest strap has a martingale loop and fits across the chest in front. It is the point for leash attachment at the D-ring. The martingale loop is a loop of material in the middle of the chest strap that allows some movement back and forth as the dog walks. This helps keep the chest strap from twisting and provides more comfort for the dog. The dogs can feel the shifting and often respond to it before the leash becomes tight when trying to pull. Each strap is adjustable to get the best fit and both the top and bottom straps have quick snap buckles to make it easy to get on and off the dog. You will be fitting and adjusting the straps separately in this order. First, the top strap, then the bottom strap around the girth. This will be the foundation of the fit and provides a secure base. You must properly fit these straps before making any adjustments to the chest strap. To achieve the correct fit, your dog should be standing. Having someone help you by giving the dog some tasty treats while you're fitting the harness will make it easier and a great experience for your dog. Step 1. Fit the shoulder strap. Unsnap the buckle on the belly strap, which is a contrasting color. Place the shoulder strap over the dog's head. If your dog is uncomfortable with the harness going over his head, place the chest strap against the dog's chest and snap the buckle of the shoulder strap together over his back. The O-rings on each side should fit above and behind the dog's leg. Place your fingers in the O-rings and position the rings above and behind the leg on each side. You will be able to determine if and how much you need to adjust the strap. To adjust the strap, Take the harness off of your dog and use the metal adjuster to make the strap longer or shorter. You will know the fit of the strap is correct when, as the strap is lying across the dog's back, the O-rings remain in the correct position on each side of the dog. Step 2. Fit the belly strap. To complete the girth fit, bring the belly strap around to determine how much adjustment you need to make on the belly strap. You may want to remove the harness from the dog while making the adjustment. Once the belly strap is adjusted and connected by the quick snap, the straps should form a vertical line. The fit around the dog's girth should be snug. You should only be able to get one or two fingers between the dog and the harness. Check that the harness doesn't rotate by trying to move it against the fur. It should stay in place and the skin will move with it. This snug fit is very important because these two straps combined create the foundation that keeps the harness in place. This keeps it from causing uncomfortable rubbing and chafing. Step 3. Fit the chest strap. The chest strap should fit horizontally and not droop down or too easily ride up close to the dog's neck. It will be much easier to make this adjustment if you remove the harness from the dog. The chest strap has two adjustable points. You will want to adjust the sides evenly so the martingale remains in the center. For example, if you estimated you needed to adjust the chest strap by one inch, you will adjust each slide on the strap by a half an inch. Check the final fit. Once you have your adjustments complete, do a final check on the fit. You should have a mostly vertical fit here with the O-rings above and behind the front legs. The fit is snug and does not rotate on the dog. The chest strap fits horizontally and is snug without pulling the girth straps forward. Dogs may tense up while being fit the first time, so check the fit after a few minutes and readjust if necessary. Now you're ready to attach the leash to the D-ring on the martingale loop in the front.
Here are some tips on using the harness with the leash. Please use a four to six foot leash with a light and sturdy clasp. Although the harness may have an immediate impact on your dog's pulling habits and it may be more manageable to walk him, he may still pull somewhat while wearing it. The harness is designed for you to be able to redirect your dog from pulling and help achieve a loose leash walk. To achieve the best results, hold a leash so that your dog has enough length to walk by your side but not enough to forge ahead. As soon as you feel tension on the leash, redirect your dog back to a position beside you by gently pulling the leash to the side. You may also change direction or circle to get him back in position. When he returns to this position, reward him with a tasty treat and praise. You may find yourself redirecting and rewarding him quite a bit in the beginning, but with some patience, practice, and consistency, he will quickly learn walking beside you is worthwhile. Troubleshooting. If the chest strap is slipping or the straps are chafing the armpit area, you may need to adjust the fit. The chest strap is probably adjusted too tightly and is pulling the girth straps forward. A loose girth in an over-adjusted chest strap can cause the girth strap to slip into the armpits and cause chafing. Think about a shoe slipping off of your heel. Over time, that will cause a blister. It is very important to have a snug fit in the girth. The chest strap should gently lay over the dog's front, but not be over tightened. Excess pulling can also contribute to chafing in a dog's armpits. Ensure that you are using proper leash techniques to redirect your dog so that they do not pull forward on a walk. If the chest strap is fully extended and it is still pulling the girt straps into the armpits, the harness might be too small. Consult the sizing chart to make sure you have the right fit for your dog. With the Easy Walk Harness, you now have a gentle, effective way to enjoy walks with your dog.